If you find yourself constantly attracting things you don't want into your life, it's important to understand that you may be unintentionally focusing on those unwanted things. This happens because the universe, through the law of attraction, responds to what you're giving your attention to, whether that's something positive or negative. Manifestation isn't just about what you say you want. It's about what you feel and focus on most consistently. The tricky part is, many of us are conditioned to think about our problems, our fears, and the things we don't like. We try to avoid them or fight against them, but in doing so, we're still putting a lot of energy toward those exact things. The more attention you give to something, the more you're bringing it into your experience, even if you're thinking, I don't want this. A good example of this is when people try to stop worrying about money. They might say, I don't want to be broke, or I can't stand being in debt. Even though they're talking about their desire to have more money or be financially free, they're still focused on being broke or in debt. Their thoughts and feelings are centered around the lack of money, not abundance. So, what happens? They keep attracting more of that same experience of financial lack. It's like tuning into a radio station you hate, but then refusing to change the dial. The more you stay on that station, the more of that unwanted broadcast you hear. The key is to change the frequency of your focus. Now you might be thinking, but if I'm in a bad situation, how am I supposed to not think about it? It's my reality. And that's a valid point. It's hard to ignore things that are right in front of you, whether it's money issues, relationship problems, or even health challenges. But the trick isn't to deny reality. It's to consciously shift your focus away from the things you don't want to see more of and toward what you do want to experience. This doesn't mean you're pretending everything is perfect. Instead, it means you're choosing to focus on solutions, possibilities, and the feelings of what it would be like to have the outcomes you desire instead of constantly replaying what's wrong. By doing this, you're changing the signal you're sending out into the universe, and the universe will respond accordingly. Let's say you're having trouble with a co-worker who is constantly negative and brings down the energy of your workspace. It's easy to get wrapped up in how annoying or frustrating they are, but focusing on their negativity is only amplifying that energy in your experience. Instead, what if you started focusing on what kind of work environment you want to have? You might start by appreciating the parts of your job that you do enjoy, or imagining how it would feel to have positive interactions with your co-workers. You might also take some time to visualize yourself working in a space where everyone is supportive, calm and uplifting. The point isn't to change your co-worker, they are outside of your control. But by changing what you focus on, you'll start attracting a different experience. Maybe the co-worker's behavior won't bother you as much, or maybe circumstances will shift so that you don't have to interact with them as often. The key is that your focus is no longer on the problem, but on the solution or the preferred reality. One common objection that comes up when people hear this is, but I can't just ignore my problems. They won't go away by themselves. And that's true. Ignoring problems doesn't make them vanish. But there's a difference between ignoring something and refusing to feed it more energy. When you constantly think about and stress over a problem, you're feeding it, making it bigger in your life. However, if you acknowledge the problem but shift your attention to how you want things to be, you're directing your energy toward a solution. And that's where real change starts to happen. It's like having a plant. If you water it, it grows. If you stop giving it attention, it withers. Your focus is the water that either nourishes the problem or the solution, depending on where you direct it. Another example could be in relationships. Let's say you're tired of being single or you keep attracting the wrong type of partners. The natural response might be to focus on how lonely you feel or how disappointing your past relationships have been. But this focus on loneliness or failure only attracts more of the same energy into your life. What if, instead, you started to focus on what it would feel like to be in a loving, supportive relationship. You could start by imagining what your ideal partner is like, how they treat you, and how you feel when you're with them. By doing this, you're tuning into the frequency of the relationship you want. 
and you'll be much more likely to attract a partner who matches that energy. The shift happens when you stop focusing on what's missing and start focusing on what you want to invite in. One powerful tool you can use to help shift your focus is gratitude. When you're in a mindset of appreciation, you're naturally focused on what's good, what's working, and what feels right. This positive energy makes you a magnet for more things to appreciate. If you're struggling with money, for example, instead of focusing on your bills and debts, try to shift your focus to what you're grateful for, even if it's something small. Maybe it's your ability to pay your rent this month or the meal you had today. By focusing on these positive aspects, you're telling the universe that you're aligned with abundance, and the universe will respond by bringing more abundance into your life. Of course, it's easy to fall back into old patterns of thinking, especially if you've spent years focusing on what you don't want. But the good news is, the more you practice shifting your focus, the easier it becomes. It's like training a muscle. At first it might feel difficult or unnatural, but over time it becomes second nature. One way to start practicing this is by setting aside just five or ten minutes each day to focus on what you do want. Visualize it, feel it, and really imagine yourself living that reality. By doing this regularly, you're rewiring your brain to focus on what you want, rather than what you don't want. Now, some people might argue that this sounds like wishful thinking, or that it's too simplistic. But remember, this isn't about denying reality, or hoping things will magically get better. It's about deliberately choosing your focus and energy to attract the outcomes you desire. You still need to take action toward your goals, but when your thoughts, feelings and actions are aligned, you'll notice that opportunities start appearing, challenges become easier to overcome, and life flows more smoothly. You'll be amazed at how much easier it is to manifest what you want when you're no longer fighting against what you don't want. To address another common objection, what if I'm trying to focus on the positive, but I still feel bad or anxious? This is where the concept of releasing resistance comes in. Resistance is the mental or emotional block that keeps you stuck in negative patterns. When you're trying to focus on something good but still feel bad, it's often because you haven't fully let go of the doubts, fears or limiting beliefs that are holding you back. In these moments, it's important to be patient with yourself. Another powerful tool for releasing resistance is meditation. Meditation helps quiet your mind and allows you to detach from the constant stream of thoughts. Even just a few minutes of meditation can help you reset and shift your vibration. Finally, the most important part of this entire process is paying attention to how you feel. Your emotions are the best indicator of whether you're in alignment with what you want or if you're focused on what you don't want. If you feel good, excited, hopeful or joyful, you're on the right track. But if you feel anxious, frustrated or overwhelmed, that's a sign that you're out of alignment and might be focusing too much on the unwanted. When this happens, don't beat yourself up. Just gently guide your focus back to something that feels better. It could be something as simple as thinking about a happy memory or appreciating something small in your day. In summary, to stop manifesting what you don't want and start getting what you do, you need to shift your focus, release resistance, and train yourself to align with the feelings of what you desire. It's not always easy, especially when reality feels overwhelming, but with practice, you can take control of your point of attraction. The universe responds to the energy you're putting out. Make sure it's aligned with the life you truly want to live. The more you focus on what you want, the more it will flow into your experience. So, stop giving energy to what you don't want and start pouring that energy into what you do want. Your life will change dramatically when you make this shift.